Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing a simple search, word search puzzle in Python. My son brought this home and I decided, well, it would be fun to convert it, to make a program out of it. So I'm doing this in Python. We, this is going to be the put into a two-dimensional list. Each of these values I put in the list because I intend to load this up using some loops to load a two-dimensional list. I um, have some um, values here defined. I have a function here to load up the crossword, display the crossword, and to find the coordinates. Load the crossword puzzle into the 2D array, 2D list. This function will print the 2D list. This is a helper function for my 2D list. To load the crossword. And we need a coordinates function. The coordinate function is important because it just make um, life easier for the system. The coordinate function, all it does is get the coordinate in the list of the first letter of the string, the search string. and stores it. That way, we don't have to go through the list again and again, the entire list. We just go to the coordinate of the first letter and start our search from there. All right, so those are loaded up. Now let's load The functions that does all the heavy lifting. First we have the right side function. This function will look for words going left to right. We have the left side function. This will look for words going from right to left. We have the up and the down function here. These will be looking for words going up and looking for words going down. Each direction has its own function and it's in a try except block so that if it goes out of bounds, the entire program doesn't stop. It just continues to the next function.
then we have the functions that does all the diagonal searches so whether it's let's see here it's left up diagonal search this one is left down diagonal search this one is right down diagonal search and this one is right up diagonal searches and the try blocks are in play try accept because you're going to get situations where the search goes tries to go outside of the array of the list and you want you don't want your program to just end so you have to manage it if it does go outside the array the word doesn't exist okay <clears throat> And finally, we have the search function, which contains and calls all the functions. This contains all the functions, calls all the functions. So first, it starts with the write function. And which returns whether it has a match or not. If it has a match, then all of these become false and it will exit. If there is no match on the return, it goes to the next function, then the next function, then the next function, tries the next function, etc. And finally, we have the main program that kicks off everything. This is a loop. You can see that we have the coordinate length, the coordinate here. All of the coordinates are stored in this coordinate list. It, again, it's the starting position of the uh, search string first letter. And here it's simply, it's the row. We have row and then some values here. Then we're going to do it since you, it's double, it's two cells two indexes that are being used at a time we're only going to run it for half of the coordinate that's um, how long we will do the search for and we make the call to the search function that contains all the functions and then break if if the, the first coordinate doesn't work then it goes to the next group of coordinates and so on and so forth it keeps going on to every other coordinate coordinate is a pair of number it's a row and a column and this is this we print the status and the coordinate of the first letter that we found the word in now here's the test word that we'll be looking for, recess. We'll be looking for that word. Let's run it. run and here you see word found and the coordinate it was found at one zero one two three four five six and twelve across 